Hello, I'm at Just now. Today is Friday. Praise God. It's been an exciting week. I'm telling you, you know, when I share these things with you, I'm so stirred up because I even as I'm sharing with you, the Holy Spirit is bringing dimensions to me that I'm seeing again. Praise God. So are you ready to call forth your daily bread? Now, why would God give you your daily bread? Because he loves you. It's because he loves you. And hey, he's got the ability. He's got the ability and he's willing. Praise God. Hey, giving everybody on the earth a million dollars is nothing to God. He's got the ability to. You remember the, the, the children of Israel when, when they asked God for meat? And, and guess what? Moses said, Lord, these people are so wicked. Can you imagine? They're asking you for meat. And God said, eh, give them meat. Moses said, God, you know what you're talking about? Do you know how many we are? Do you know how many, how, how much meat is going, to, is going to feed all this? God said, Moses, do you know who you're talking to? Moses said, okay, what should we do? God said, Moses, you, you've gotten me upset. <laughs> and God says, you know what? You guys are going to eat meat not one day, not one week. You are going to eat meat until it begins to come out from your nostrils. Why? Because you asked me that question. Where am I? Do you know who you're talking to? You are talking to God. I've got ability and I'm willing. Hey, why am I telling you this? Because he's got the ability to meet your needs. Today, today, not tomorrow, today. He's got it. He's got the ability to send someone to knock on your door and give you that thing that you're believing God for. He's got the ability to cause situations to happen. Hey, do you know God? And you're wondering, the, eh, oh, this prayer, pray. oh God, I meet my need. Eh, will, will he answer? Do you know God? He's not planning to answer it for just today. He's planning to answer answer until you say, God, <laughs> I don't have where to keep this anymore. Please help me. Yeah, that's him. That's him. Knowing this, can you release your faith now and make this declaration with me in the name of the Lord Jesus? Say, Father, I demand right now, Kalo Parotea, and I receive my daily bread. It's coming to me now. <laughs> In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, what should I do next? Relax. Relax. Oh, Brate, Likisa Prakusha Manahandi. Relax. Relax. Yeah, relax. Uh, am I not like, relax? It is in your relaxation that the word of God will come to you. Not in your desperation, you know. Oh God, eh, I've prayed. So, so, so. What? Uh, 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 relax. Sit down. Just stretch your legs. Lay your head back. If you want to lie down, you lie down. Haven't prayed. Just rest. And wait for his word or wait for a miracle. Just like that, yes. Because anything you ought to do is what he will tell you to do. If you need to do something, if you need to go somewhere, if you need to call someone, he is the one that will tell you what to do. If he doesn't tell you what to do, what you're trying to do will be fruitless. It will not produce a God kind of result. It may produce a kind of result, but not the God kind of result. Are you getting what I'm saying? So that is how these things work. Relax. You have prayed. You have asked. Relax. Everything you need to do, your children's school fees, don't just say, oh, it's my rest. It's not your responsibility. It is not your responsibility. It is God's responsibility. All you need is to connect yourself with God so that the capacity of your ability increases so it comes from God to you. And then you now demonstrate it towards your children. That's how it works. Your wife, the same thing. Your parents, your siblings, the same thing. Hear me. 
hear me and hear me good. There is no challenge that comes up in your life that you don't have the ability to meet. Okay, what do you mean? Yes, there is no challenge that comes up in your life that you don't have the ability to meet. The challenge you have most times is you don't dwell in God. So you don't, you don't expand your ability. You look at only your ability. That's your problem. You look at your ability. So you look at yourself and say, oh, we cannot afford that. Why can't you afford it? Because you're looking at your ability. And guess what you're looking at? My salary is this amount. Ah, if, if you want me to afford this, it's going to cost me my six months salary all put together. And I don't think we can afford that. That's your ability. You have weighed yourself and you have told yourself, this is all you can amount to in six months. So that is what value you have given to yourself. Brother, that is not perfected love. You need to come out of that place. You need to dwell in God. Connect yourself with God. And then, when you are connected with God, He, He, all are breaking. Now, I've shared this testimony before. You know, a few years ago, about two years now, I think, you know, I was, I was, my wife and I were, were trusting God for a double bunk bed for um, our children, you know, to put in their room. Because they were expanding now, so, they needed more space, more. Um, so we needed, um, instead of, we just need a double bunk bed. And I always go to this shop and I'll look at the double bunk bed they had there. It was a, 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 a steel double bunk bed. And I'll look at the price. The price was about 300 and something thousand. And I said, Lord, 300 and something thousand for a double bunk bed? Nah. You know, and I say these guys, they've got to give a discount. I'm, I'm telling you what I'm saying in my mind. So I'll go there. Every time I go there, I'll look at it and say, ah, no discount yet. Okay, I'll, I'll come again. And then I'll check. Every time I go to that shop, a very big store in, 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 in Abuja. So one day, I went there and then I passed by. I said, oh, let me check if they've given discounts. You know? So I checked. It was still the same price. And I said, ah. Then the word of the Lord came to me. He said, son, until you accept this as the price for the double bond bed, you will not receive it. I said, okay. Okay. I stood there, I will never forget. I stood there, walked back at that price tag on the bed and I pointed to it, I said, this is the cost of a double bunk bed. And I receive it as the cost of it and we'll buy it. That was all. I said it. And, and guess what? You know, of course. So, you know, because the devil always comes. So, um, maybe you come and check next week again if there's going to be a discount. No, I'm not looking for a discount anymore. I'll get this money, I'll buy this door because our children need it. But now, now we, we didn't want a metal bed. We needed a wooden double bunk bed. But they had a metal one. But I just accepted, okay, this is the price. And then I walked. Hey, that same day, I lie not, that same day in the evening i think we had a meeting because i remember i went to that shop to get something um, before our meeting so i went for the meeting in the evening after the meeting i came out of the meeting turned on my phone and then i saw someone uh, a friend of ours who had sent me the picture of a wooden double bunk bed and sent the picture to me and said pastor i don't know if you have need of this thing in your house we have it, but we're not using it. So we want to send it across to you. And guess what? When I when we checked the price of what we got, it was 400 and something thousand there. Can you beat that? So I, I said to myself, so all these, you see, now, 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 here is it. 
I, what the Lord helped me to do was to connect myself with him and produce his ability in me. Accept that as the price. So never say you cannot afford it if you're a child of God. You can. How, how can I afford it? Because I'm connected to God. I'm connected. You know, now all this while I was thinking, okay, so I'm gonna count, I'm gonna, I'm gonna count this amount of money to pay for a double bong bay. Hmm, is that wise? Is that that's all I was thinking? Now the Lord just did something to my brain. Get out of that thought. You can afford it, accept it. Yes, sir. See, that's what the Bible says, for it is God that is at work in me. But to will and to do of his good pleasure. <laughs> now, what's that? It is love that is at work in me, but to will and to do of love's good pleasure. Now, guess what? I, I, my children needed a double bunk bed. Now, I, I wanted to give them, I was willing to give them, but I was having challenge with my ability. I was having challenge with my ability. And because there was a challenge with my ability, I couldn't respond quickly. See that now? Until the Lord said, hey, come out, you've got ability. And I believe the Lord and changed my mindset. And guess what? That willingness, ability was supplied to that willingness and we didn't have to buy it. We paid nothing for it. I'm telling you, we, paid, we didn't even pay the transportation of it. Praise God. It was delivered right out of our home. It was fixed and, and, and we didn't pay for the delivery. We didn't pay for the, for the um, what's it called? Now? The furniture guy to fix it up. He brought the whole thing, fixed it up himself, you know, and, 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 and stuff. Oh, a good one. <laughs> it's good. That is what love is. And that's why you must dwell in God. That's why I told him, hey, you, 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 you can accept love. When someone says, you know, I love you very much. Yeah, I'm looking at you now and I'm wondering where you dwell. Do you dwell in God? Because it's only when you dwell in God that you will have ability. Are you getting what I'm saying? It's only when you dwell in God that you will have ability. I, I say this to sisters all the time. Look for a man who dwells in God. It doesn't matter if he has money or not. You should first of all confirm that he dwells in God. If you are sure he dwells in God, how do you know he dwells in God? Very simple. His response. What is his motivation for the things he does? How often does he say the Spirit of God corrected me or the Spirit of God told me to do that thing? How often? Now, that is all the seed you need. Now, the next thing you need to need is say, honey, I want this thing. Oh, my wife does it to me all the time. Say, I want this thing. And I, I, why? Why? I say, well, I've told you. And, and, and that's it. Because she knows that when I'm on my own and I'm just... The Spirit of God is going to say, so what's your problem? <laughs> ah, all right. Okay. All right, sir. Okay. All right. We'll do it. And we get it done. Listen to me. Let this sink. Let this sink. Anyone who doesn't dwell in God can not walk in love. It is impossible because love is responsibility there's got to be ability then there's got to be willingness before there will be a response if there is willingness and no ability there is no response if there is ability there is no willingness <clears throat> there is no response now ability our ability is measured in God. That's why he says, I can do all things through Christ who gives me the ability. You don't look at me and measure my ability because you don't know the limit of my ability. You can look at me and say, ah, I don't think he can produce 10 million naira. Oh, I can produce it the next second. 
<laughs> I can produce it the next second. I'm telling you the truth. I can not because I have it in the bank. No, 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 no. I just connect with my source. And he increases my ability. And I release my willingness. There's a response and it is produced. Praise God. Oh, we give you praise, Father, for this whole week. You have blessed us so much with your truth. Thank you. Thank you. You are building your church. We are growing. Hallelujah. And I pray for everyone that the this word produces in us your love. And we find the ability in us to produce and express love to everyone around us. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. I love you so much. See, that's why I'm bringing all these things from the Lord for you. I declare that this weekend will be your greatest weekend that you've ever experienced in Jesus' name. God bless you. I'll see you on Monday.